Hey everybody, it's Monday, September 30th, 2024, and here are a few morning announcements. So good to see everybody this morning. Don't the decorations look amazing for Spirit Week? And you guys look amazing too. You did a great job with today's theme, Mathletes versus Athletes. And we are excited for the rest of the week ahead of us. Don't forget, we've sent in the post and to your email, posted it on social media, and also hung some flyers up around school for the different ways you can dress up all week. So let's get in that school spirit, show our school spirit as we celebrate the end of season for our fall sport teams as they get ready for their regional competitions. Also, to end this week, it's going to be a blast. The whole school is going to come together for a Friday afternoon pep rally. So more details on that coming soon for students and for teachers. But we are looking forward to celebrating all week together and then at the end of the week. There's lots in sports happening this week. Uh, tonight, our varsity plays against Lakewood Park. Tomorrow, our junior high A, JV, and varsity teams all travel away to play uh, Lakeland Christian in Warsaw. Friday, our junior high and our high school soccer players play against Portage Christian here at home. And finally, just a reminder, our open gyms for uh, basketball for high school students have begun. So be sure to connect on the Sports U app or connect with your coaches or our athletic director to get all the details on times and locations and everything for those. We are super excited. This week, we are moving on in our study of Proverbs and we're into chapter six. And this is a big one. Chapter 6 verses 16 through 19 is a really, really important passage of scripture. And we're going to unpack exactly what it means and how we should then live and behave because of it. But it says this, there are six things the Lord hates, seven even detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes and plans, feet that are quick to do evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict. In one of the Bible versions that I read, it says, a person who makes trouble with his brothers and sisters. Hate is a pretty strong word, friends. And when God says he hates things, we need to pay attention and make sure that we are not getting anywhere near any of those things. And I think if we're honest with ourselves, we all have done something or lots of things on this list. And we're going to talk a little bit this week, especially on Friday morning, about what does that mean? How does that hurt the heart of God to do the things that he detests? He says, I hate these things. And I don't think he uses that word lightly. I think it's serious business. And so we're going to talk about what does that mean if we're a Christian, if we believe in God, if we choose to say we are following after him, how should we work our very best to avoid those things and actually pursue the opposite of those things, telling the truth, making peace, being sure we're not fighting with friends, being sure we're not lying about people or or gossiping about people, be, being sure that we're not, we're not um, using our tongue to tell mistruths or hiding things that are lying or dishonest. All of these things are things we should avoid and then do the opposite of so we can please the Lord, things that he loves. It's a big list. It's a hard list, Clinton, for, for kids and for adults, for all of us pursuing our relationship with Jesus. It's a hard list, but it's a really, really good one to commit 
ourselves to living out. Let's do that together. Let's encourage each other to do that together. Let's start by praying as we start this week. God, thank you for the privilege it is to go to a school where we can start out the day thinking about you, talking about you, challenging our students and our staff to obey you in all things. Lord, this is a really, really tough list. How many times do I do things on this list that you hate? I'm sorry for that, Lord. God, help us as adults to set the example. Help us as students older to set the example. Help us as students younger to work our very best to learn how to do these good honorable spiritual habits that you love the opposite of this list god help us to not do the wrong thing help us to not stir up trouble among our friends help us to always tell the truth help us to be kind help us to not be prideful help us to be humble and have a servant's heart god in all these things Help us to honor and love you that we cannot do things that you hate. Lord, we know we can't do this without your help. So help us today follow in your path of wisdom and right living. We love you. Amen. Amen, Clinton. I hope you have an awesome Monday, the start of a very fun spirit week.